Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel and another Declutter With Me 2023 edition. Yes, we moved. We are no longer in the kitchen. The kitchen has been entirely decluttered. It's been tip clean. We are ready to move on. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am doing a decluttering series for 2023, going through my entire house, every room, every cupboard, every closet, every drawer, every nook, every cranny. And as one of my Patreon members said today in the live, this year we are touching everything we own. So the goal is not to remove 90% or whatever percentage you want of possessions and belongings you have in your house. What I want is to have just what I need, what I love and what I want to keep. Everything else I'm going to declutter. I will either trash it if it's broken, donate it or sell it. So we are in my dining room. And for those of you who follow me for a long time, you know that the dining room is where I have most of my collections. <laughs> this is where like most people, I keep all of my china and my crystal and I also keep my linens and I have decorative items. I have a lot of stuff in here. So I'm going to go through the dining room. I'm probably going to do two videos in the dining room. One just for the buffet that's behind me because this is where I keep all my china. It's got to be entirely decluttered, reorganized, um, you know, dusted the whole thing. And I have to make some hard decision because I'm running out of room. Um, I didn't acquire anything new per se, but I'm running out of room. So I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to manage this particular cabinet. Um, the curio, I don't think anything's gonna go, but the linen uh, themselves, I have to take care of. It's chaos in there. There's a lot new stuff, uh, a lot of napkins, a lot of tablecloth that are new. Maybe some of the old stuff I can let go of. And then there's knickknacks like most houses um, on every surface. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour, show you what we're gonna do. And I hope you are decluttering alongside of me. Again, we are in the dining room. Of course you can do whatever room you want if you don't have a dining room or if you don't feel like doing your dining room now, that's fine. I'm keeping you company and just here to encourage you to declutter your life. Okay, let's get started. Welcome to the dining room. We eat here every single day. It's off the kitchen. I don't have an eating kitchen, you know that. So it gets messy real quick. And this is also where I keep all my collections. So here's a tour of my before and what the dining room looks like. So I have this big buffet here. Um, that is a Habersham uh, buffet that used to belong to Scott's grandmother and it was given to us and I use it to store all of my china. And I have to tell you, I love this thing. I really do. Um, it's got a lot of storage actually for something that is not very deep. So in here in this drawer, I keep all of the um, napkin rings, but clearly there's a little bit of everything. So we're gonna have to go through that. In this one right here, this is where I keep all of the flatware, uh, the silver flatware, uh, and of course, there's a little bit of everything. Um, this is the newest one that I got that actually was a street find, and these are Christophe. Yes, they are Christophe. I found a whole set of Christophe um, in the, um, on the streets. So it's in here, but I have to obviously sort it out a little bit. And in this drawer, it's where I usually keep the candles, but you can see that again, we got a little bit of everything in here. So we're gonna have to go through that. And then this cabinet here, look at this nonsense, okay? It's about, uh, it's a tower, a tower, I tell you, of China. Uh, yeah, this, um, there's some decluttering that needs to happen here. And look, look, we managed to get uh, dog hair and cobweb inside. 
Okay, so that's gonna get cleaned out. This is my jar of tasks whenever I do the uh, dock series, uh, which is declutter, organize, and clean. So this cabinet here in the middle has the majority of my china in it, um, but again, I gotta reorganize, and then there's some stuff that I can no longer use like the candles for instance because I've become allergic to synthetic fragrances so obviously they're gonna have to go and then the last one over here is this and again there's a little bit of everything and that has to get cleaned out with more dog hair and cobweb if you see them and right, next is the curio cabinet itself um, I found it on Facebook for about well, for a hundred dollars actually, not about. It's a hundred bucks. And it's a, uh, a brand, um, I forgot the name, Pulaski, I believe. And really, really, really love it. This is where I keep most of my treasures. Uh, so the crystal is here. Um, these are all heirloom things. Um, and a few that were gifted. This is basically all of my china, my three patterns. Um, one is my wedding, the other two are family. This is a collection that I've started of the uh, Mason and Bates uh, old stoneware from the 1800. And then on the bottom here is a little bit of everything, but mostly um, family heirloom here and here, and the pink one, and then the rest were gift. Um, I this one I'm gonna let go of. Okay, the other side of the dining room is the clock. Um, you know, obviously, oh, and it just stopped this morning at 5.30, so I'm gonna have to uh, rewind this. Um, there's a table here, like a console type with a few plants, and then I have those big syrup jugs. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. And then I have a bunch of stuff here that's uh, stuff I had moved here at the time of Christmas. I had, you know, moved decor and whatnot to make room for Christmas stuff. And then it landed here because I didn't put it back on display. So I'm going to have to assess this and figure out what I want to do with it. This is an Eastman uh, Victorian buffet that used to belong to Scott's great great grandfather. Uh, and we inherited it um, a couple of years ago. and. I keep it to store all my linen um, and since I'm filming I have a whole bunch of filming equipment here um, but this stuff on it that I have to decide what I'm going to do with it this is currently for sale on the Facebook marketplace if you remember that video uh, from the kitchen and um, no bites so far but in here is where I keep all the linen and this is um, yeah it's it's getting a little out of control all right, so I got to go through all of this and then this other one here that has an equal amount and then the hidden drawer at the bottom which in the old days was for um, shotgun <laughs> also has a bunch of platters and other things so all of that I have to declutter. Now let's talk wall decor uh, for a little bit. I'm not changing any of that. Uh, if you want to declutter your old decor, that's fine, but I'm not. So this is an old, and I'm talking really old, um, engraving of a um, French uh, cardinal. And um, it's from 1780-something. I can't remember. I have my glasses on, so I can't help you on that one. But I found it on the street, so it stays here. All the way on top here, I have a uh, clock. A real gingerbread clock that was given to me um, and I started fixing it but I need to buy a new pendulum I don't know where to put it so I put it all the way on top here but clearly I got to take it down and put it somewhere else uh, we have plates here some of them are Napoleon plates on top here these are just the spode regular you know you can find them at TJ Maxx I just put them up there because I wanted to have something on that gallery here um, this is the living room on the other side and then here we have a actual um, painting by Carol Briggs and a painting that my mom did years ago I think that was 67 or 68 
Um, there's some paintings here that belong to my mother-in-law and we have some lanterns that were found on the street and this obviously is going to stay here this is the um, weather station and well I could probably put that in the kitchen uh, and the alarm system um, for those of you who are curious the swan is a decoy an antique decoy that used to belong to Scott's grandmother and we absolutely love it and it will never move away from the buffet it's always been here and that would be it this one too is a street find but the issue with the dining room again is because we eat here every day um we end up having the mail staying here there's always uh some kind of food or some a wrapper of sorts um, we got Scott's cap here, his coat's on top of the chair, and then my coat here is on top of the chair. Yeah, so the dining room is never really looking formal because <laughs> we actually use it every day. But today I'm going to declutter and I will start with this buffet. Hey, so before I start, uh, just a quick reminder. Decluttering is a process. It's not a finite accomplishment. Um, you're always gonna have to declutter because we always bring stuff in our lives and then our lifestyle changes over time. I mean, just ask new parents. <laughs> they were very happy when they were just a couple with no kids and then suddenly a kid appears and the whole living room is now covered with toys and the bouncy chair and the uh, bumbo seat and the portable crib, you name it, right? And then the kitchen cupboard gets filled up with all those plastic um, tumblers and sippy cups but you understand what I mean as you go through stages in your life new things are gonna enter your home and then eventually you have to declutter them um, it's the same way when you become an empty nester your kids you know are grown they go to college or they get married and they move into their own home if they want this stuff they take it with them but more than likely they're leaving a whole bunch of stuff behind that they don't care about so you got to declutter that so there's always going to be a stage in your life where you have to declutter stuff it's an ongoing process but for people like me who like stuff i like antiques i like vintage I like decorative items, I like knickknacks, I like collections, I love china, silver and crystal. There's always going to be new items coming into my home and I like them, I love them, I use them and then maybe one day I stop liking them or one day I stop loving them or I stop using them or they break for whatever reason it's time for me to let them go. So today I'm gonna to go through my entire um, collection in here in this cabinet. I don't think I'm gonna have time again to do the um, linen. I might do that at another time uh, in the next video. What I wanna do is reassess what I have in here, reorganize it, of course clean. I'm not gonna wash all the china, but I'm gonna clean the shelves. And what I want is, since the holidays are over, is really set up the whole thing so that the next holiday coming up that I have to set up the table, um, it's probably gonna be Easter. I don't have to, you know, pull things out. Everything is nicely organized and I don't have any things in here that are unwanted and no longer serve me. And let's start. All right, this thing right here. Um, well, like I said, this is actually pretty organized. This is where I keep all of my um, napkin rings. I do have these here. I don't really use those, to be honest. Uh, they're cute, but I don't know. I have used them in the past to decorate the top of pillow candles. Like you put the candle in the middle and they go at the bottom, so. I guess I'm gonna keep them, um, but this is pretty much the way I need it. I just need to organize this a little bit better. Okay, so we're good. So that's just napkin rings. Yeah, I don't have to declutter anything out of this. All right, so the only two things that I'm decluttering out of this is this thing here, that's a, um, plate holder I don't use it and then this is the back of a battery operated Christmas thing 
but it's broken and I was able to just tape the uh, the stuff this year so I don't need those they can go all right moving on to the middle drawer here all right what are these doing here <laughs> I got light bulbs um, in here and I know why they're here they used to be in the chandelier uh, but they don't really work as much as I would have wanted to uh, these ones are too tall so I can't put the um, shade on it and I believe these were flickering and that's the reason why they're here so I'm just gonna put them to the side and I gotta tackle this this obviously doesn't belong here I gotta put it downstairs um, this is grandma's old stuff. It's a Rogers um, silver plated service from the 30s and I inherited it. And then this is part of my everyday, so I gotta put it to the side. Uh, this is supposed to go into one of my um, flatware box that's on the other side. And then this, I am missing the matching knife. So I gotta find it. So I gotta reorganize the stuff on this side. And you know what I'm probably gonna do at some point is purchase the actual silver bags um, because this is again silver plated and it's not being protected. So these are those stick knives. That's uh, a cheese one. These are all serving spoons. Listen, I'm aware that right now I haven't decluttered anything, okay? <laughs> I'm mostly reorganizing, but wait until we get to the bottom because I think there's going to be some stuff. Okay, this drawer. This is where I keep uh, the candles. Oh, here it is. I knew there was a matching one. Okay, let me put it back. Okay candles um these dark green are brand new I'm gonna keep these white ones are still pretty good we're gonna keep these orange ones are brand new so we're gonna keep now what do we have here we have a yellow one that's there's not much left so that can go this is the holder for the alarm system. So let me see if I can actually put it on the wall. A wine voucher that can go. Coupon of sorts. All right, this I can't use anymore. It's incense. I love the smell of it, uh, but it makes me sick. So that can go. Uh, there's the screws to attach this thing. Uh, this is the filter and the replacement um, little blades for my vacuum. They don't need to be in here. And then, lo and behold, another bulb. But this one is bigger than the other one. I don't know why. This here is a bracket for a shelf and another bracket for a shelf and this has to get cleaned so that means that somewhere in the house <laughs> there is a shelf that's missing two brackets i'm trying to think did 
they may be for the curio cabinet. I think that's what it is. Now, you can't really remove those. Well, the only thing I'm going to keep in here now is the candles. So I'm going to, because that's where I always kept them. And they don't fit this way, so they go this way. I could probably use this drawer for something else, but for now I'm keeping the candle. Okay, so, so far I'm decluttering uh, this. This has got to go somewhere else. This got to go somewhere else. I'm decluttering this, this thing, and then the plate. All right. I'm ready to do the cabinets. This is absolute uh, nonsense. Um, that is nonsense. This is so not me. I mean, this is an accident waiting to happen. All right. These things here. I kid you not, they have been for sale on the Facebook marketplace for, I would say, three years. I keep renewing them. Uh, it's been several Christmases. I can't sell it. It's from 1989. Should I put it on Etsy? I doubt it. I don't know. I got to think about it. I, I, who's going to bite this? Come on. All right, so let me put that to the side. Let's, <laughs> let's address the Leaning Tower of China. This is ridiculous, like that, that I'm embarrassed of. I really am. Okay, so this is um, my good one. You know, I doubt I'm the one who did that. I, I just, it looks like it's the leftover dishes from Christmas um, and I doubt I'm the one who did that. I'm just saying. Okay, so there's a little bit of everything in here. This all got to get reorganized. Um, okay, these. These are the leftovers um, from a set that I actually sold on Etsy. It was um, the dessert plates, the saucer, and the teacup, and I think I had the match for three of them or four of them, but I had these leftovers and I kept them. I don't know why. They can go. I don't need them. They're pretty and stuff, but I don't need them. Okay, so this is from uh, the nuns. I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay, this is Aunt Frances's. What I'd like to do is have all of the services and the patterns bunched together instead of having stuff everywhere. That would make sense. Okay, so we got uh, the Haviland here. And then this is the other one from Anne Francis. This doesn't need to stay here. That's my jar, you know, my dock your house series once in a while i do that okay so this is Anne francis again and this is the haviland so we're gonna have to sort all of this there's going to be china everywhere okay this one uh this is a street find it's a haviland it's so pretty, but what am I hanging on to it for? I don't know, but look at it, it's so pretty. It's so delicate. It's beautiful. I love it. But again, why am I hanging on to it? I have absolutely never used it. I'm pretty sure it was a street find. Um, I can't really sell it because most of the gold is completely faded. You see that on the handle? 
So, I mean, it's not cracked. It doesn't have a chip. It doesn't have any hairline. I doubt anybody's going to want to buy it because it's faded. But you would expect that for its age. Um, I gotta think about it. <laughs> We're not going anywhere today. Oh, I got I got squish in. All right. Um, this I keep. They were my brother's um, salt and pepper. Okay. It's. Do you want to see cobwebs? Probably don't care. There's cobwebs everywhere here. Look. All right, okay, so definitely I need to clean all of this. You can tell by the cobwebs that I do not use this. <laughs> that giveaway. All right. I've been hanging on to this for so long. Johnson's Brothers Nordic Blue. I have a service for six. I'm trying to think, where did I get this? That was not a street find. I either bought it at Goodwill or I got it on the Facebook marketplace. I can't remember, but I have it for six and it's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. I mean, it's a very delicate um, ironstone type china. I used it the last time, I think Scott's parents were here and they were visiting around the time of Easter. I think that's the last time I used it and that was way before the pandemic. So it had to be six or seven years. Um, just, just for perspective, if you knew, and you're wondering like, why does she have so much stuff? I want you to know I used to have 11 services, okay? I'm down to half. So, I think I'm gonna put it up for sale on the Facebook marketplace because it's too much shipping um, if I'm putting it on uh, Etsy. Now, just a little bit of history. Uh, Nordic Blue is using a very recognizable pattern, by the way, that used to be called, when it came out, was called Blue Onion. And what happened is that the company, I can't remember who they were, uh, the company that created the Blue Onion pattern, it may have been Royal Copenhagen. Maybe. Um, eventually, they, they didn't really patent it stuff back then. So what happened is that people started copying the pattern and a whole bunch of companies started doing this blue onion, but they couldn't call it blue onion because that was, I think it was Royal Copenhagen. Um, they were using it as that name. So it was too confusing. So it had different names. Um, this one is Blue Nordic and it's Ironstone by Johnson Brothers England. I can't tell you what the year is. Um, this is not old. I'll put the date right here if I find it somewhere. So I know it's a shocker, but I'm going to put them up for sale. And you know what? If I don't do it right now, it's not going to happen. So if you know yourself, that you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it, stop everything you're doing and do it now. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it now. Um, one, two, three, four. yeah, I have a service for six. Okay, so let me put that right here because while I'm sitting down, might as well address this here. I'm gonna have to clean all of this. This is a uh, um, espresso set. Uh, that's a promotional from a company um, I'm sure it was given as a gift 
for, um, you know, if you bought Fabri coffee, whatever that is. I found it on the street. When I found it, it was brand new. We've never used it. That porcelain Dencar. I'm going to put it up for sale. That I have no problem doing because I didn't seek it. I found it. So that's two things I'm putting up for sale. So let me wipe them off, take the pictures, put them on the Facebook marketplace. When I come back, I will be cleaning this and then we'll tackle the next cabinet. I'm not putting anything back yet because I have to figure out how I'm going to put it together. And again, I think I want to do um, a service per cupboard um, or per shelf. This one I had used as the leftover for the uh, um, the dishes, like, you know, the vegetable bowls and stuff, but I think I got a better idea this time around. All right, let me get up and take care of this. Wow, so I'm getting ready to take pictures of this. I don't want to have a little bit more information about it. So I went on uh, online. These are vintage Fantasy in Café Fabri. Okay, right? It says we're here and um, this guy is selling six without the saucers for $65 on eBay 20 bucks on Facebook marketplace I found it on the street I don't care let's do 20 bucks brand new never used espresso set from the early 80s says fantasy in cafe by Fabry, sells on eBay for over $60, truth, no box, beautiful restaurant quality porcelain, add to your coffee bar and impress your friends with the real deal from Italy. Okay. <sighs> Let me publish that. And it's publishing. All right, moving on to the Johnson Brothers. Yeah, I'm not putting that on the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have to go on Etsy because I know I have several of the platters and each platter is worth 50 bucks and there's somebody selling um, the set they're nuts this is not this is nuts because that I don't think okay look at the price a rare find <laughs> I have it in my house it's not that rare all right I'll put it on uh, I'll put it on Etsy <laughs> Why do I have such a hard time with China and Crystal? I gotta sit on it. I gotta sit on it some more. I'm not, uh, I don't know. If I ask Scott, he's gonna say he doesn't care. Um, I like it, but I don't love it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna sell it. I don't need it. All right. All right, I'm pumped, motivated, motivated. Come on, you're doing good. You can do this. I'm selling it. Okay. I can't use the candles anymore. And oh my God, the smell, it just hit me. And I used to love this strawberry pound cake, white barn. Oh, this is so strong. Absolutely, and it says essential oil on it. Yeah, okay. Okay, this one is brand new, brand new. I'm gonna sell it.
Oh, okay. Um. I do like it. All right, keep. All right, so this is Aunt Frances. Let's put everything down. That's Scott's. This I was hiding it here because of Christmas decor, but I can come back up. Oops. Okay. Ah, uh, boardwalk. It's brand new. Uh. I'm gonna sell it. I can't. I'm sorry. I know some of you sent me those candles, but I, I've developed an allergy. I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Uh, it's one of those plates. Remember, I got a lot. Oh, this is so bad. Look at this. Can you see the uh, dirt coming out of here? All of this gotta get washed. was fun okay so I have all the cheese or coffee cup um, and they are sorted by pattern instead of being all messed up and unassorted and then the china is the same way so that's uh, Greg Rama's is here my wedding china is here I don't have a lot of uh, that one and then the nuns and uh, the Noritake swan song I believe it is is here and then here's a Mato um Nasso. That's is it Nasso? That's Aunt Frances's uh China. Let me see. Yeah, it's Nasso. So I don't have the sugar. Um I do have some serving, not a lot of plates. Um of course, you know, I have additional ones in the curio over there. And that leaves me with all of this empty. And what I'm going to do is put the serving dishes in here, which gives me a little bit more room here. And now I can keep um, those big dishes over there. And I'm going to go under in that drawer in my um, Eastman dresser because I know I have platters in there that are matching these. So for platters, I have two that are uh, the Nordic Blue that's going to go for sale. I have a very large one from uh, the Haviland and then I have one oval for the uh, nuns pattern. So let me see what I can do. If that platter can go in, that'd be great. And it fit. So perfect. I now I no longer have platters at the bottom of that dresser and everything is uh, together. Actually, now that I think of it, hold on. Yeah, so I can actually put them together this way. And that frees up two shelf here. And then these I can put together. So I am done with the china. Well, I did it. I decluttered the whole thing. So let's recap. Uh, this was just slightly reorganized. This one here was entirely reorganized. I didn't declutter from here. I did declutter this one. I only have the candles left now. And in 
this cabinet I have one empty shelf Woohoo! and then I'm keeping some of my platters and I made the decision to yes keep the old Limoges um, covered vegetable dish because I really like it you see I'm keeping stuff I really like and then over here I reorganized all of the china and they are by pattern uh, so on top I have the Havilland from 1923 here is um, the Noriteki that was the nuns this is my wedding one and then at the bottom is Anne Frances's um, china I'm glad I did this actually <laughs> and then over here I'm keeping just the uh, teacups and saucers so this here is all trash stuff I'm not gonna keep um you know old candle uh, this one I mean I don't want to donate a candle that's been used I'm sorry I go to the thrift store all the time I find it really gross when people donate their half-used candles I, I just I don't know it's me um, this is donate and this is everything I'm letting go of today so the espresso set is already on uh, the Facebook marketplace same thing for the candles and yes I am selling the whole Nordic blue or blue Nordic um, and after much consideration um, it's gonna be too much for shipping I'm putting it on the Facebook marketplace and a couple of other places uh, for pickup so we'll see if it sells I hope it does because uh, I'm still very ambivalent about it yeah, so that was my declutter for today. Um, listen, in my pea brain, I know I did the right thing, okay? I know I did the right thing for several reasons. One, I haven't used that china in years. It's got to be at least six, if not eight years, all right? I would have to go on my Facebook because every time I set the table, nice, you know, fancy, I take pictures. So I'm pretty sure it's seven to eight years um, the last time I used it. Uh, that's number one. Number two, it takes room. And when it takes room, it forces me to crunch um, or limit the amount of space I have for my good china, like the heirloom stuff and the old, old stuff that I really, really cherish and love. I am not emotionally attached to it. I just really like it. I remember when I purchased it, and again, I think I got it either long time ago, right? I either got it on goodwill.com, shopgoodwill.com, or I got it on the Facebook marketplace, but I, th I think it was shopgoodwill.com for like 20 something dollars at the time. Now the prices are like crazy, okay? Um, the starting prices back then were really low and you could really buy stuff like this for really dirt cheap, like the Chinese set that I have. Well, it looks Chinese, but it's not. It's from the 1800s. That thing, I bought it on Shop Goodwill, the three pieces, and I think I paid 30 something bucks back then. If you go online, they're like $180, $200 a piece, right? <laughs> and now if you go online and you buy them at Shop Goodwill, they'll start the pricing at like 60 bucks. Back in the day, it was like $12 uh, to start, you know, a uh, auction. But anyway, neither here nor there. So it was very inexpensive. It caught my eye. I really liked it. We used it a couple of times, but it's been in this cabinet and you saw the cobwebs, right? <laughs> no shame. I have no shame. No, really, none. Um, it was in this cabinet catching dust and being covered with cobwebs, um, doing nothing but taking space. And as much as I like it, as opposed to the other sets that I have, I don't love it. For instance, if I was breaking a, a piece, right? You would not see me being tortured <laughs> <laughs> for hours and frantically looking online to replace it. Um, that would not happen. So that's kind of like how I figured out it's time to let it go. Like the other pieces, I would be really, really upset if I was breaking one. It's bad enough that the old ones that's coming from family has chips. Some of them already have the chips. Um, and then the uh, Noritake one from the nuns, 
Uh, that one is faded in parts, it's got scratches, it's got a few chips here and there, but that's because, you know, I bought it from Donuts and that was their set. Um, you know, there's no chips on my um, wedding china, my old country roses. But all those sets, if it was, you know, breaking, I would be very upset. That not, it's not coming from family. I purchased it. I think I can let it go. Am I amazed that I was able to let go of a china pattern? Absolutely. And if you remember my last declutter, I let go of another china pattern. <laughs> what was the name of it? Oh, it was so pretty. Um, it was the one with the green flowers around it and I actually sold it on the Facebook marketplace. Somebody came in and purchased it. So, you know, um, let go of your stuff. Try to recoup some of your money. Um, I think I did pretty good today. I'm very happy that I actually was able to reorganize the whole thing. I was able to let go of some. It was a good day for declutter. It was difficult, but it was a good day. So sometimes you need to give yourself a pat on the back. You're going to be able to declutter something you have not been able to declutter in previous sessions. That's why I mean by decluttering is a process. It's not something that you do once and you're done. You're going to have to revisit the same area several times over an extended period of time, um, be it several years, like in my case, if you're really slow in the decluttering process, in order for you to be able to just like reassess, okay, last time I wasn't able to let go of this, am I able to let go of it today? And today I was able to let go of it. So pat on the back, Sophia, you did a good job. Am I going to be able to sleep tonight? Probably. Um, now, what am I going to do if nobody buys it? Is it going to find its way back into the cabinet? I'm a little ambivalent about this. I really think, I know what I should do is donate it, okay? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, more than likely, I will donate it because I've already in my head and in my heart made the decision to let go of it. So I'm just, I'm not gonna be like, oh well, it's a sign, it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> You were meant to keep it. I could, you know, come up with all sorts of crazy rationale. I'll, I'll let go of it. If nobody buys it, I'll go to my Presbyterian shop and donate it. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it if you really liked it and you know somebody who needs to be inspired by this type of decluttering video. And then don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. In about two weeks, I'm gonna have new items on my Etsy shop, Frenchie and Tubby, if you wanna check that out, I will announce it on the Facebook and Instagram. And in one of my videos, I'm probably gonna tell you, hey, by the way, I got new stuff in the Etsy shop and channel merch. My great challenge gift uh, also on Etsy and if you want a more intimate glimpse into my family and private life please consider supporting my patreon channel at patreon.com slash my great challenge by the way it's dark outside I'm filming late today because this morning well this morning at noon exactly um, we had a live with um, the patrons on Patreon and I have to tell you it was one of the best live we've had. It was um, amazing, absolutely amazing, such a great support group. I really love the live so just to let you know I know there's a lot of Patreons that do live but this usually just you know the host on camera and then the rest is questions and they read the questions. My live are actually through Teams so I get to see you, you get to see me, and we're actually having a group conversation. It's really, really amazing. The community we're building over there. So if you want to check it out and consider supporting, thank you. And that would be it. <sighs> I let go of a whole set of China. I can't believe it. Why don't you tell mom? <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.